Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome back. In this video, what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about how to make cables, how to put uh, lugs on them and a bit of heat shrink, make them all neat and tidy and pretty and no spider legs. Exactly. So what tools, what do you need for this? Well, really, um, you need some sharp cutters. These bad boys are pretty good. Um, we need proper copper, templated copper lugs. Um, these are, well, these, these are 40 mil and uh, heat shrink, which is here's something we made earlier. Cut, cut to length, can't see. And then you need the crimpinator. <laughs> <laughs> we call this the crimpinator. We do call it, this crimpinator. It's yeah. a beast. It is a beast. It's, it's very long and it's. Um, does the job quite easily. It's very, very good bit of kit yeah. that. And one more tool that you need, I can see it laying down over there. Ah uh, yes, the gun of heat. <laughs> <laughs> heat gun. You need a heat gun, yeah, yes. Yeah, you need a heat gun. These, the, these ones are, yeah, they're, they're not great. But in the winter outside, it's a bit, um, it takes a while, put it that way. Um, yeah. So yeah, but it, it's all right. It gets you out of a pinch, doesn't it? It does get you out of a pinch, yeah. And it will work very well in here. It does, so yes. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to show you how we go about making up cables and making sure that they're safe and neat and tidy and that the ends don't fall off. Because what, happen, what can happen if they're not crimped on correctly? Well they go high resistance, so you can get, um, the, if the crimps aren't made properly on the end of the cable, um, they can sort of move around and with that air gap you get arcing and heat. Um, and that can, they, they can short it, or they can cause so much heat they melt the terminals and whatever they're connected to. Um, you know, we've seen that a few times. Um, and all the troubleshooting that we've done for people that have had issues, then it always comes down to either a bad crimp or a nut and bolt not tied up properly. So, like two hours of work trying to track something down comes down to one of these not being timed up. You know, so yeah, always make sure these are tight when you're finished. Give them a good old pull. We'll go through this on as we do the filming. Right. In true Blue Peter style, here's one we made earlier. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I did that. So we take the lug and we just measure it up so we've got an idea of how far to cut back. Take these nice sharp cutters and just squeeze gently until you can feel them go through the case to the copper below and just move them around and then you can just pop it off like that. And that's the end that you're looking for. And then, just roll it around, give it a bit of a squeeze between your fingers, stop it flaring out as so much. Roll it around and make sure you don't get any spider legs. And squeeze and turn and push it right up, as far as you can get it, into that cable end. And you should see the end, right at the end, all the ends of the cables there. So you know you've got them butted right up against the end. And we'll give it a bit of a crimp, my glamorous assistant. <laughs> there you go. Yep. That's it, yep. Perfect, there we go. As you can see, you've got a nice crimp there. You can see the ends of the copper wire up in there so you know it's in there. And then give it a good pull and a bend just to make sure that that's not going to go anywhere. And that's really in there nice and solid. And then we take a heat shrink, pop it over the end. You have to make sure that when you put the heat shrink on that, it's not on this surface here. Otherwise, if it does, it can get caught and cause high resistance um, and cause heat and cause the connection to fail. Um, so make sure that it's well off that surface. But what you're really interested in doing is covering this join here, giving it some mechanical protection and just making it look good. And just make sure any cables that are in there that may have frayed when you cut it don't pop out. Um, and if they do, the heat shrink will hold them in and keep it nice and tight. So it gives it structural rigidity and it keeps it tidy and it keeps it neat. And now we just heat it up. And there we have it. One heat shrink cable. Nice and neat. Well, one other thing is like when when you, as you notice this this is an M this is an M8 that's an M10 when you're putting it on these on these these cables on on bolts you need to get these right because if they if they flop around um, again you're losing connection um, you know they can move and they're not tight they're not sealed they can go off center so you're losing some of this surface here and that's all that counts when you're getting those amps coming through you want as much of this surface area in contact as you possibly can so always get these lugs and always size them correctly
all the tools that we use in this video, we'll put a link in the description down below so you can go and get one yourself. So if you haven't already seen it, we made a video on how to size cable correctly. Click on that card up there, that will take you to that video. And uh, now we've just done cable termination, but in the next video, now we're going to start to get into how to plug things all together, aren't we? Yeah, how do we connect these things up? You know, what, what order goes where, you know, so between our the batteries and the switching and the fusing and the bus bars and fuse boards, um, you know, how you would put these things together, you know, in which order. And um, and then we move into, um, you know, if it's a bit trunket, what you would connect and, you know, where you would start. We're going to work through every single item that Victron do that we install into vans and show you how to wire up these devices. Yep, that's right. Thank you very much for watching. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.